Are you trying to navigate project handover and just don't know where to start? Well, look no further because I have the answers for you. I'm going to teach you what project handover is, steps needed, and how to navigate it. And stick around to the end of this video because I'm also going to give you a really cool free download and ensuring how to ensure your projects don't fail. So I highly recommend you stay tuned for that. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adriana Girdler, and on this channel, you're gonna get the best career and project management advice coming to you every Wednesday. Now, please consider subscribing as it really helps us grow this awesome community. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Project Handover, I think it's time that we get to it. Please also like this video too, thanks. What is Project Handover? Well, simply put, it's when the project's completed tasks, this is really important, they're all completed, gets handed off from you, the project manager, to the deliverable owner. That's usually someone in another department or operations. So you're literally saying, this finished product is now yours. That's what project handover is all about. What to know about project handover? It's not one and done. Okay, and what I mean by that is when you've completed everything on your project plan and you're in closeout stage, you just don't hand it off to the owner of the deliverable and saying, see you later alligator, no way. This handover actually is a process. There's certain things that you have to do to ensure that Remember, what you did in the project was in theory, even though you were definitely testing things out, making sure it was working, but now it's actually in a live setting with a whole bunch of other issues that you just couldn't test with. So that's why it's so important that with Project Handover, what you're going to do is you're going to ensure that you pass it off to the owner, but you're gonna support that owner for probably a frequency, depending on the scale of the project, it could be one month to six months, depending on exactly what you did and how many people are being impacted by it, uh, to ensure that they get the support they need. And if there's anything that needs course correcting, it gets corrected. Because this is where a lot of times projects fail, is in this handover state. They just, here, I'm done, here. It's yours. And then you put it in a live production setting or a live setting just period. It's now in the hands of the business and they find a whole bunch of issues and now they're dealing with all of these issues that you created in your project. You're just not there to clean it up. So it's really important that this is a process. You're there to help the business owner ensure that things are going to be going well. There is a time period with it after you're done your project one to six months and you're going to dismantle your overall project team but bring over a very smaller select group of subject matter experts who are going to be there in order to help. So this handover is critical because it's about sustainment of what you created in your project. That's true project success. Review deliverables. The first step to starting project handover is to review all your deliverables and your key project documents with key stakeholders. So this would be your charter, uh, any other uh, project plan, anything that really outlined what the deliverables were, you want to then first get your team together and review with them, hey, by the way, before we say this is officially over, does everyone have everything done? Is there anything outstanding? Because again, this is about completed tasks. This is a completed project you're now handing over to the owner of the deliverable. The second type of stakeholders that you're then going to share once you do your quality check with your team, because again, you and your team, you have each other's back, is you want to then share it with sponsors, steering committee, and most importantly, the owner of the deliverable. In fact, I recommend you get all three people in the room. And you want to go through the charter with them and any other key document that they were actually seeing, you know, uh, that they, uh, sorry, that they were actually seeing like a, like a deliverable status update to ensure that they know what's done, what they're getting, and anything else to get agreement that yes, handover, we're now ready for handover, and that we all understand what we agreed to in the beginning is what we're getting at the end of the project and now being sent over to the owner of the deliverable. Lay out the transition plan. So this is the plan that you, your reduced project team, and the agreement of the business owner are saying, here's how this reduced project team is just going to be of assistance to the business owner who is now using this deliverable that your project just completed 
and now they're using it in a real life setting. So some of the things that you would include in your this transitional plan would be monitoring of what is going on to ensure that your project team, if there's any issues that pop up, they can course correct. That becomes really important because you do not want to instill bad ways of working just because your project couldn't think of those real life scenarios, so you want to course correct that. You also want to update any sort of documentation based on that monitoring and course correcting. There's also suggestions to the business owner that you and your reduced team may want, may want to make based on your observations and your monitoring. You may want to make suggestions of how individuals are using it, uh, maybe how the flow is with that new either equipment or software or whatever it may be that you've implemented. And if needed, you may have to update training documents and retrain. The key here is you are supporting the business owner who is now using your project deliverable in a real life setting and life setting. You're ensuring that any of the small little things that would have that won't pop up when you were doing your project but are now popping up in the real life setting, that you're dealing with it and you're course correcting accordingly. And then once that's completed within the time frame, which which I said before is about one to six months, you can then wrap all of that up get sign off. So yay, you're done the transition, the handover occurred really, really well. You're not done just yet. I highly recommend you get sign off on everything from the business owner and the project sponsor that everyone is in agreement that you've done your due diligence. So the best way to do this is I usually just set up a meeting and I will just explain what the transition was all about and anything that got course corrected and provide maybe some handover documents to the business owner um, if any were created. But even more importantly, once I get the sign off that everyone says, yep, you're agreed, you're done, you can totally disband or dismantle the team. Don't forget to archive the little things that you've done in your transition. That becomes really important because again, documentation is really important with project management. So don't forget that because it's really easy to. So now that you know how to do a proper handover and the steps it takes, it's time for you to go under this YouTube video, go to this link and grab this. It's free. Why projects fail. The most you can do, or not even the most, the best thing you can do for yourself is get this. It's free advice, things that you can take a look at in order to ensure that your projects stay on track. And if you don't do projects, download it anyway. You want to know why? Because this applies to really to anything in business, activity or initiative too. If you learned something new in this video, please tell me, like it, put something in the comments below. And even more importantly, if you could share this and subscribe to the channel, that really helps us grow. On that note, let me know if you have any additional insights when it comes to project handover or if you're like, oh my goodness, yay, I have these tips and I'm now going to do a great project handover. I'd love to hear from you. Until the next video, see ya.